Hey guys, coffee chat time. Just finishing making my coffee. Time is flying this morning. So I'm gonna head out outside with the kids. The kids are out there doing some crafts with mum. So give me a tick. Hey, Poss. Poss, are you still good for me to call you at 9.30 after this coffee chat? That'd be awesome. All right, going outside. I think I'm going to freeze my rusties off out here. It's fresh. Oh, they're painting. This is going to be cool. All right, start throwing questions at me. Sleep challenge is up, but any question is good. I think you guys are enjoying these coffee chats, so I thought I'd do two this week. If it works out, I might do three next week. Sit down. Hey guys. Hello, there's the kitties. Say hello. I want to have that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What's you up to, Poss? I want to have that, 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 that. Whoa. Yeah, do you want to do some more leaf like that? If anyone wants a good show to binge watch, get on to The Last Kingdom. Let's watch that while running on the treaty. It's good, it's good. Hey. He's on there. That's a live video. Do you want me to go somewhere else? Ma! I can. Ah! See if anyone comes on and starts asking questions. So, the sleep challenge. So, it's hard to get, like a lot of people get lost in the idea of like, get better sleep challenges about getting more sleep. And stuff, that stuff. So the most important thing, just let me fix this up. The most important thing is that actually you get better quality sleep or the sleep you're getting. Because sometimes trying to find more sleep is hella stressful. Trying to find more time to get more sleep and sometimes you got none. But you can find ways to get better quality sleep with the time you have to sleep. Sleep or not. Six hours, seven hours, whatever it is, just get better quality of the one you get. I'm making a big go. Kids are crazy. Alright, take it up over here. Oh. So a reminder to, when you're doing the basic basics of this Get Sleep Challenge, pick one. Pick one thing that you know you can do that's going to get you better sleep. Whether it's the no screens, the no screens is an easy win. Cold showers, the last 30 seconds, turn it to a point where it starts making you breathe heavy. And that's 30 seconds of your day. And it's going to help you sleep better at night. And then a nice little, even simpler one is get out in the sun as early as you can in the day. Just set your circadian rhythms so you're ready to go to sleep later on that night. So these are nice, really, these are very easy wins. What else can we talk about while we're waiting for people to come on? We can <laughs> watch, the, watch the kids paint. There's the kids having a paint on with mum. Oh, so fun. Hey, Jen. What's going on? Caddy. Jen Frankenhausen has it. How's it? How's it? Caddy says, hey, Jen. What are you guys doing, Jen? You're still stuck at home? You'd be working from home anyway, wouldn't you? All right. I'm going to hang around for another five minutes. If you guys don't have any questions, I'm going to bail. Um, sleep tracking apps. Every phone's got one. Apple's got their own inbuilt one, which is the the sleep app. 
it's inbuilt in your alarm clock, so you put down what time you want to go to bed. It sets an alarm to tell you to go to bed and the time you want to wake up. And it tracks when you actually get out of bed and start moving and look at your phone. So that's a nice, simple way of doing it. And then there's bunch, there's like, I've, I've shared in the group, there's a bunch of free ones on your phone for Androids. And if you've got a watch, most watches track your sleep if you wear them at night. Even if you don't, it will track from when you took it off to when you put it back on. I know my shoes. Did you just swear? Oh. <laughs> so yeah, any sleep app tracking is good. What else can we talk about? I like this one. Rolling around in the sun, on the grass. The grass is nice and wet. I dare you to roll around on it. It'd be good. Keep it fresh. It's fun. Playing with your kids. Nice easy win. It's all about just bringing down your stress levels. Getting your shoulders from here and just bringing them and calming them down. There's an app called One Minute Meditation, worth checking out. Just focusing on one minute. You do one minute meditation and it ticks your box for re-energized for the day. Do the small wins. So if you think about that red light, yellow light, green light. <laughs> Jen, you do it first. <laughs> um, red light, yellow light, green light. Red light, the minimal effective dose to show up and do the things you need to do. Ooh, Jen says, hey again, she saw you in the corner. Which way, we won't talk about what coffee I'm drinking. So she does this It's from Audi. Race. Okay. Um, yeah, so red light. Minimal effective dose. What is the easiest thing you can do? One minute meditation. Um, five minute gratitude journal. I use an app and I take photos for throughout the day and I'll put that in my gratitude journal. Um, Takes five minutes. Two and a half minutes in the morning, two and a half minutes at night. Um, the cold shower. That's my red light version. Just do that, it's really easy. And the R wads at night, because I've got to do them for you guys anyway, so I have to do them as a default, so that's my red light. So there's, I pick one of those and just tick them off every day. Then yellow light, one to three things in the day. So you start stretching out and doing things a bit more challenging. I'm not boss, I thought you could hear me. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> um, yeah, so yellow light, one to three. So this is where you can start doing things which are at the edge of your abilities kind of thing like the no screen 60 minutes before bed um like deeper meditation maybe 20 minutes hey joe so all these when you get on the yellow light do things that you know are very easy to show up and do so you tick the box and then maybe add an additional one that you know is like something new it's not a habit the red light ones you want to be habitual the yellow light ones you want to stretch a little bit and make them a little bit more challenging to get you where you want to go so it might be the r board for you guys every day or it might be the meditation, doing meditation every day. Um, and then green light is do everything. <laughs> no one's in a green light right now. I don't, if you're in a green light, I think you're lying. You're, <laughs> we're in isolation or whatever, COVID crap. And then all this work of up, everything's all up in the air. No one knows what's going on. There's no way anyone's in a green light. But if you are, do everything. Train the house down, do all the recovery strategies because you have no other stress. You have no kids, you have no work stress, you have no money stress. You can do all the things you need to do to get the result. And this is where people fall in that trap. People join programs that are green light programs. They're programs that are about do this to get the result, which is a green light program. You have no other stress. You're just focusing on that one thing and that's it. Nothing else matters. And there's so many green light programs out there. It's unbelievable. All those... Lack of a better option is F45 is a green light program. Train twice a day, do a crazy ass diet, get really good results. It's not a sustain, sustainable thing long term. Once all these other responsibilities come in, oh yeah, we've got kids. Oh, you meant to shower them. You meant to wipe their bum. You meant to clean them. You meant to clean yourself. You meant to shave your beard like I need to. You meant to have a shower. You meant to feed yourself. You meant to look after the house. You meant to mow your lawn. You meant to do all this. You meant to do that. All these other things come in. You need to learn how to show up on yellow lights and especially on the red lights. You're gonna have more yellow lights than anything else, but you're also gonna have more red lights than you will green. So you need to learn how to show up on those days and what can you do on those days, which is the idea of the online coaching that we do is always about what can you do in a red light scenario? What do you do in a yellow light scenario? Green is do everything, but red and yellow, what can you do? If you win those two scenarios each day, you're going to keep showing up and the consistency will extrapolate out to awesome results without even feeling like 
It was that hard. If that makes sense. You didn't have to fit it like into your lifestyle. You made it fit your lifestyle the way it is now. If that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Answer any questions, guys. I've got maybe 15 minutes. And then I'm going to call Poss. If you guys don't know who Poss is, it's Susan who keeps commenting on the video. Sleep stuff, sleep stuff, sleep stuff. If I'll you... Give you a tip for sleep. Hang on, Kat's got one. Meow. Tip for sleep, get some. Revolutionary. Thanks, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> ever helpful this is coming from the person who gets 10 hours sleep a night <clears throat> if she comes again <laughs> who also gets up 5 to 8 times because of the children because he doesn't because I sleep deep deep sleep because I'm a deep soul someone's pooed No one's asked me a question, <laughs> so I'm just trying to distract them. Boss, I had a crap sleep last night. Can you look back and see why you had a crap sleep last night? So when I have a shit sleep, I try and look at what it was that I did leading up to going to sleep. Um, I struggle to ever get a good night's sleep. Nigel snores the size of me, killing me in hell. How can I get a better sleep? Earplugs. <laughs> Earplugs and an eye mask. As weird as that sounds. Get rid of Nigel. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely get some earplugs. For sure. That will make a massive difference. Um, Jen will laugh at this. Greg sleeps with earplugs. Next, um, when he goes to sleep, he was telling me on a run because he can't sleep otherwise. <laughs> so he has a newborn bub, so he's using earplugs to get his sleep in. So I reckon earplugs for the win, or just put a, a peg on Nigel's nose and hit him with a pillow every time he snores. If you're awake, wake him up. <laughs> so yeah, I would definitely do earplugs for sure. And if you can, get an eye mask. That's a big tip for everyone. If you look in your room, sit in there before you go to sleep, turn all the lights off and look around and see where there's any light getting into your room. If there's any chance of any light getting in there it's going to disrupt your sleep so go tape it up pin the curtains back whatever you got to do to get your sleep so on my side of the bed our modem is there because when they decided to put the internet in the house they put it in our bedroom which is way down the other end of the house everything else is up the other end so the modem's down there and it's got the yellow lights flashing up all the time so i actually do need to tape them over just so i can get a quality sleep i haven't done that yet I'm going to do that today because that's a reminder. Yeah, get goody, like get comfortable with your plugs with this. Like it makes, it makes, it makes such a difference. I really need to get a new phone holder, doobie. Don't know. The amount of times I've dropped this thing is ridiculous. Sure, I'll get some today. Yeah, get down. I don't know, is Bunnings still got the lineup thing going on? Don't go to Bunnings. <laughs> Nigel will be able to bring some home from work. Get him to bring some home from work. Or use Nigel's hearing aids and turn them down. <laughs> you can tell him I said that. Um, what else we got? Well, 14 minutes and then I'm off. The... It's another way to get you in your sleep. They, they are plastic big things. Camel yeah, big earmuffs. Yeah, don't worry about that. But I'm pretty sure they'd have your earplugs there probably. But if not, just find some. They're pretty easy to get. They are at Bunnings, but if you don't fancy lining up, I'm not sure where else you'd get them. It wouldn't be hard to find them though. But uh, yeah, that'd be my default. Earplugs for sure. Um, what else? 
I've got dumb brain because I had to do yeah. Yeah. 10 800 meter sprints. What about Kevin Malte? Yeah. In your ears? Yeah. No. Yeah, Kevin Malte. We do Kevin Malte sometimes when we, before we go to bed. Yeah. Every time I do, I seem to have a crack and sleep. So well that I forget to do it every time. So I should do it every night. I actually did. There's a challenge I'm doing at the moment where part of it I've got to read 10 pages of a book and on Sunday night I hadn't done it yet. Usually I do it like before 9 o'clock and this Sunday I didn't do it. I was just mucking around doing other stuff and it got to bedtime and I forgot. And if I didn't do it, I had to start again day one. So I was up to day eight and yeah, I went to bed with the camera Malte, sat up because I knew I had to read the book. And I was reading the book and I nodded off. About 10 times to get through 10 pages, I reckon it took me about an hour and a half because I kept falling asleep trying to read this book. Hey, but I got it in, I got the job done. Kevin Malte just knocks me out for some reason. Oh, yeah, there's right near Lone Dog, there's um, Blackwoods, I think it's called. You can probably get in and there, I think. <laughs> Lavender doTERRA sense works really well. Emotional child. She's an artist. He. He's an artist. What well, on, buddy? I'm getting some more pieces of paper. You are. He's an artist. Under trees. They definitely get that from mum, not from dad. You guys see what my writing is like on the whiteboard at the gym. It's terrible. See? Yeah, this this one one's good, it. buddy. I like this one. Look at that. Look at that. What about a lizard? Alright, guys, I'm going to bail soon. If you haven't got any questions about sleep stuff, what does Hippo say? If you really want to ramp up the sleep, have an ice bath. Put ice in a cold water bar and see how long you can last. In 10 minutes though. 10 minutes in, 5 minutes out, 10 minutes in, 5 minutes out, you're dead. That is good reset on the body. Jen, are you still running at the moment? You still getting out for your runs? Oh, with this challenge, if you're still doing the Get Lean template, you can move away from the Whole Foods challenge, bring back in foods that you took away and test them out and see if they cause any effect on you. That's what's good about the Whole Foods challenge. Take it all away, bring back in one thing and see if you if it rocks your sleep or you get an upset stomach or you get bloated or whatever. Test it out. So the idea of all these challenges, you're testing things, seeing what works, take and keep doing the stuff that works and get rid of the stuff that doesn't. There's so much noise out there. Like even this list of tasks I gave you to re-energize each day. Try them out and then get rid of the stuff that you think's useless. And it's like scratch it off. You don't have to do it all, just do the stuff that you know that works. It's the most important thing. Alright guys, I'm gonna bail. Pause, I'm gonna call you in five minutes. See ya!